Good evening and welcome to Ruveneco Online. It has been a very colorful season and we are wrapping up our season tonight by showing you a few highlights of what we have gone through with you um, over the last couple of weeks, or rather the last couple of months. Uh, starting this program has been scary but it's been a whole lot of exciting. And I wanna be able to thank everybody that's been part of this production, which I will do um, toward the end. But um, as you know, we've interviewed politicians, socialites, civilians, um, you know, homemade celebrities. And uh, we've basically shared a lot with you on this platform and we continue to strive to be better, to do more. And we want you to be able to give us your feedback. So here's some of the highlights. Um, one of them is uh, Minister of Tourism and Hospitality Industry Engineer Walter Mzembe. Now, unfortunately, Minister Mzembe did not make it to become the Secretary General of the UNWTO as he had hoped. The Zimbabwean government and names internationally were supporting him, but he was three votes short. Now, this issue is, however, still pending. When the UN General Assembly gets together in September, there could be a twist of fate. So all hope is not lost. So Zimbabwe, stay hopeful. Either way, to make it to the final round at such a high level, internationally, at such a high level election, um, I think this is definitely an effort worth applauding. So Minister Mzembe, well done and thank you. So we are moments away from going live on Ruvenico and um, upstairs with my person, Gamu. Uh, she's my makeup artist and uh, we are getting ready for the first episode of Ruvenico. Hashtag Ruvenico Live. Minister Walter Mzembe apparently is on his way. So um, we'll be meeting him downstairs shortly. I'm excited, a lot of feelings. Uh, so get comfortable, tell the friends to tell the friends to tell the friends to get connected on Facebook Live, like the page. We're also on Instagram, on Twitter as well. And let's keep this conversation going. This program is for you. What we want from this program is answers on any level about anything and everything. So let's do this. We are losing many of our people are spending their money outside the continental of configuration that Africa is. So we have a net negative travel balance. Mm -hmm. We want people to come into the continent and I'm carrying the cross on behalf of Africa. And my motivation right. in the first instance for running is really the obligation to Africa. And that's right. why the African Union endorsed my candidature because they understood the purpose and mission. Right. Right. We've also hosted members of parliament across the political divide. We hosted Temba Mliskwa, who's the member of parliament for Norton. He came on and shared his views about how he was dismissed from ZANU-PF and what his position is as, a political, as an independent political candidate in the Zimbabwean political arena. We also spoke with the MDCT deputy president, Nelson Chamisa, who is the member of parliament for Kuwazana East. He came and told us what he thinks of President Mugabe as a man and as a leader, and he also told us his views on succession. Interestingly enough, he did not talk about the succession within the MDCT. Not all cabinet ministers, for example, carry portfolios for degrees that they've studied. Do you feel that that's a weakness that needs to definitely be addressed if there was ever to be a new government? No, I agree with you. Listen, I've said this before even in Parliament. I, I don't take away what uh, uh, Honorable Chinamasa is trying to do with the finance, as the Minister of Finance, but he was the Minister of Justice. He is a lawyer. We've got accountants, we've got people who have done so well, we've, we have got e economists. Mm -hmm. Why can't they be put in charge of the economy of the country? Right. And uh, it goes with so the trade. So do you think that Minister Patrick Chinomasa is not doing a good enough job because he's probably in the wrong portfolio? He, of course, of course. He's not an economist, he's not a finance person, he's a lawyer. And lawyers by their nature are quite rigid. And in being rigid, you need somebody who is quite uh, esoteric right. when it comes to the economic right. issues of this country. So we are in that hole economically. I, I respect the hard work he's putting in. He's a nationalist, he's a, patri he's, he's a patriot, but I don't think he's the best to do the job when we've got economists, accountants who can turn around the economy of this country with what they learned. <laughs> In terms of the indigenization policy, good policy, but it was not broad based. You see, Zanu PF has a failure in implementation. This is why I'm saying that there's no point in changing many things, but it is the actors that we must change in terms of ensuring that the economy of this country moves forward. President Mugabe, I shared the platform with him in cabinet. 
not because of anything, but because education made it possible. What do you think of President Mugabe as a man? Politics aside. He's a man. Yeah? He's a man. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what I think. He's a man. As a leader? I, I think I would have expected him to do better. Right. A, a good leader is a leader who is able to succeed himself with a good successor. Now, when okay. you succeed yourself successively, it becomes a problem because you can't have success without reproducing a successor. Right. And I think that has been his biggest problem. So you believe and in succession? I believe in succession. I also believe in reproduction of great leadership. You do so by making sure that you preserve your vision, mm -hmm. have more visionaries mm -hmm. after you. You cannot be the only tower light you know, in the street. You're sitting here as the deputy president, and, and people are young, excited. ambitious, fervent, and people are asking you, who are we voting for? Oh, Here's a statement. You, you said ambitious? Are you not? Why are you saying ambitious? Are you not ambitious? Well, I don't understand why you dropped that uh, adjective. But if it's incorrect, you can correct me. Indeed. Then I'll I, withdraw. I have no other ambition other than to go to heaven. Right now, I'm <laughs> in the president. Okay. So I have no other ambition beyond, beyond that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm in the comment, presidium right? as deputy. Meaning Next to say thing that, you'll say in Diruvene, Here's a okay. comment from Mimi V. Mushonga. Sure. It's not a question, it's a statement. Please run for president. I'm a good resident. And I think President Sangra would do a better job than myself. That's why I'm deputy. In fact, I'm running for president by being deputy. The results of the poll are as stands. Mm. Um, we had about 106 voters in this poll, mm. and 39% of voters voted that you should not sure. be the MDCT candidate in the sure. 2018 elections. However, 61% voted that Nelson Chamisa should be the MDCT presidential candidate. Are you sure there was no rigging there? <laughs> The lovely thing about new media is everything is open, transparent, and upfront. Sure. You can check if you want. No, of course, we have a candidate for 2018, yeah. and that's Dr. Richard Morgan Shankrai. Yeah. We are happy. Of course, we hear the views, yeah. but we are all supporting our candidate. And we are happy uh, that uh, we'll make it come 2018. Why should you just sit and sit on your laurels? Stand up for something. <laughs> if you can't stand up, at least sit upright. If you can't stand up, at least sit upright. If you can't stand up, at least sit upright. Every politician now wants to be a leader. Didma Simtasa, Ugare Gumbo, Joyce Mjuru, Temba Mliskwa, they, it has become a, 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 trend. a trend. Right. You get kicked out, you immediately become president. And I beat one man band, he's president of PDP. Mm -hmm. uh, president. If you got kicked out, wouldn't you do the same? Mm. I have a business to go back to and look after. Right. Palm oil, etc. Exactly. Right. It's suffering. Right. I'd rather be there. You've got Tafam Tena who said, Do you have ambition to be president? Who's the president? Tafam Tena from the Zimbabwe Life Platform. You see, this question has been asked in the money for us. Mm -hmm. There's one president mm -hmm. at the time. Yes. The president of our country right now is President Robert Gabriel Right. Many of you in the future, really no one can tell who will be next president. Minister Kasukwele, do you have ambition to be president <laughs> one day? No one said during the current presidency. is the current tenure. As a, school young, school as, a young, as a young leader, <laughs> as a young leader, okay, you might, you, might, you might even be getting votes right now, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah. It's yeah, a question yeah. for the next 15, 20 years. You do see, you have ambition to be president? Look, you know what? Even if one has an ambition, you must know what you want and Do what i don't want, want is what you ask me <laughs> you don't want to be asked or you don't want to be no, present the question you're asking me yes, <laughs> <laughs> I think we've been answered. I really do think we've been answered. I think we have been answered. And this it's a very important question, very important to you. And I hope in the future, when you ask other politicians, they must be honest, as I've been. Okay. We hope you've been honest, because if we see your face on the campaign poster 10 years from now, we'll rewind to this and say, you said you had no ambition, Chi, Chachinja. But anyway, we'll you leave that for now. Yes. And I'll it's answer fine. you, Papa. Oh, it's not going to change. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I've talked about, Len Barrett. He's been arrested. Mm -hmm. He's now standing before the courts. Right. He's got to be dealt with. Right. And others who basically took advantage of a genuine desire by our citizens to have a piece of land to develop and became themselves an authority. Were you Were not implicated as a land baron yourself, Minister? 
regarding the Magaya issue. I mean, if we use that term loosely, you pointed out a gentleman who's currently got a court case. But something like that, if we're here... But at least we I don't live in Caledonia. Here. No, but it, we, oh, we, you have a 50-bedroom well, house. Well, let's not start on that one. <laughs> Shoku Concord, that's just me toying with the president, letting him know he's not boss no more. You were toying with the president? Oh, I mean, this, because, I mean, yeah, I was toying with the president. This is politics. It's a game where you have to develop a set of shock absorbers. President Robert Mugabe must develop a set of shock absorbers. Ngajere the game. Kuta mbagwe do sema politician. You right. don't make it personal. Right. I need to put my attention somewhere. So, you haven't so it's yet not that, that I'm shy decision. to run, Ruby. I will run. I can definitely tell you when I'm eligible to run for president. It's shorter. Right. It's shorter. So that's you know. in ten years' time. And if the president really thinks, you know, he's, if he's really that confident about his record. Remove the law that says you can't run when you're under 40 and let's see how the dance goes. Okay, I've heard from some of your political, from some of your disciples that they would like you to run for political office. So is it something that you're considering, Dr. Meneza? I'm Come into the 2018 elections, are you considering on whatever level? Maybe you're starting from the bottom and work your way up. I don't know. But is it something that we can expect from you? I have not put thought to it. Really? Yes. Not at all? No. Uh, my, my, my job right now is to <laughs> satisfy... The, the, the mandate that I have. So political office uh, for me is something that can develop, but I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of effort to say, look, I want to be a politician. I want to do this. I want to do that. No. I, I, I think that it will be something if it comes, and I think that it is an opportunity and that God has spoken to me about it. He hasn't I would, spoken I would to you do yet. It. I would do it. And he hasn't spoken to you yet. Well, I haven't asked him about it. So <laughs> what do you mean by political office? What I mean is, let's say in you know, for 2018, you decide that where you're from, your hometown, yeah. right, being uh, Nyanga North, yeah. you decide that you want to contest against the sitting minister of ICT, Super Mandi Wanzira, yes. and you want that seat, <laughs> okay, under whatever ticket, and you decide that you want to take that seat as a member of parliament, you know, and start there. Maybe you'll be an MP for, who knows, 20 years. Maybe you want to launch yourself as quickly as possible. Who knows? But let's start there. Or you want me to be an MP? Do you want to be an MP? I don't want to be an MP. You want to be more? I don't want to be more. I want to be Shingi. If you look at the 10-point plans that were given by the president, mm. and you look at my 10-point plan, there is a hand in glove. Right. I was there looking, is a lot of similarities. Yes. I was looking at the operationalization of whatever the president had said. So you were saying uh, this is good, this, but it can be, let's is, develop let's, it. Let's now put teeth to it. Let's so you get were it done. agreeing. It's like, in yeah, I was. I, it wasn't anything against. In the president's 10 point plan, there is absolutely nothing I disagree with. So, why was there so much negative press around you speaking because, about it and speaking the way that you did? It was then forcing the feet to the fire mm. to say, look, now let's cut down the government expenditure. Right, right. And now people say, oh, we can't cut down the government expenditure. Now let's not introduce the bond notes. Right. Now, no, we can't. We've already made that decision. So, it was now let's get on with it so that people will not suffer any longer. Action. The family I was born into is my home, and I would never change or shame it for anything or anyone. This, however, together with me being easily accessible online, makes me an easy target for anyone who has any negative feelings, not toward me per se, but towards ZANU-PF. I'll take it for now, because someone has to. I am my father's child, Shonga, but I am not a member of parliament, government, or the judiciary. This is just a fraction of the shots fired at me and the hate mail I receive. I have, you have no idea what I go through. But I do what I love and I love what I do. So I'll continue. Upenyu uh, Iviri. Thank you. Uh, at first when I, my name is Marvelous. At first when I came in here, I thought that uh, ZANU PF was uh, not represented. But I think uh, Ruveneko, you have proved that you have done enough of consultants work. You have proved you have proved that you have done a lot of consultants work for 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 San Pierre, and no wonder why it is not part of the of the panel. Is that a question or a jibe? It's not a, a question, but just an introductory remark. <laughs> The UN Resident Coordinator, Bisho Parajuli, has featured on our show twice this season. In his first visit, he came and spoke about Zimbabwe and UN relations in one of their flagship programs, Zundaf. Looking at the work that you've done in the past year, the progress made under this program, it's a five-year program, correct? That's right. So after a year, 
what progress would you say you've made? What milestones have you achieved? And what are you particularly proud of that you want to highlight? Well, I'm so pleased that you are fully aware of it <laughs> first. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, uh, you know, we had identified six areas of cooperation, uh, those being uh, poverty reduction and value addition, uh, agriculture, food, and nutrition, and then HIV, uh, AIDS, uh, gender, uh, service deliveries, uh, health, education, social services, and then um, governance and administrative reform. Right. So in all of these areas, we have set ourselves a goal, uh, what we want to do, how much we want to achieve, and et cetera. Uh, and I have to point out here, you know, UN works with the development partner for funding supports and et cetera. UN doesn't have its own money Correct. as such. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so you say. <clears throat> hmm. So we then, uh, uh, and then we link it up, link up with, the, with, the, with, the, with the government, right. uh, ministries, civil society organization, communities. Right. Uh, we go down to range of uh, uh, sort of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, instrument or institutions, which helps to achieve maximum. Given the elections coming up next year, there's talk, rumors again, <laughs> of uh, there being a push for the UN to conduct our elections next year. What are your thoughts on that? That is not true. You know, UN doesn't conduct election mm in a sovereign country. There are rules, procedure, and et cetera. However, what we are involved is on request from government, mm -hmm. supporting Zimbabwe Election Commission to build its capacity through the technical assistance. Right. So we don't get involved into this. Uh, there are exclusive mechanism uh, and, and, and procedure and process for UN to get involved. So for uh, the in layman the in yeah. a Zimbabwean situation, what yeah. needs to happen in order for the UN to run our elections next year? No, UN doesn't run, run it. It's the government has to make a special request. And, okay, and there so are, government has to request? There are measures. It's yeah. a, I think it goes through <coughs> a special mandates and procedures. So right. for the layman, it's, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't happen. Uh, and, and it's... it's, uh, it's but it uh, can happen if those procedures are all followed? Not in a situation <laughs> like Zimbabwe, I have to tell you. because. Meaning? Like, you know, there are a few countries where UN has uh, help in, 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 in election Processes. request, right. election process request from those government and states like Iraq, sure. like East Timor, uh, and, you know, after a certain time in, uh, in, in Cambodia. And Comrade Joseph Chinotimba, need I say more? <laughs> I see where we go, where we go. So that we take a pence. If you do your job here, we are married. We will take a pence. We where we walk, we do that. We take a pence. MP, we will take a pence. What role did Chinatima play in the killing of white farmers during the farm invasions between 2000 and 2000? We are, we are not worried. Eh? Is lady? Why? They are not worried because he. I don't put down the things. I think that they are angry by now. They are muti. Deep evidence. Ah, na evidence. Well, let's ask about how the farm invasions happened. Yeah. We know there was violence. We know that there was no violence. didn't uh -huh. Let's share. Yeah. 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 Honorable No one got hurt. There was no violence. No. Violence here. Honorable Chinotimba. Honorable Chinotimba. You hear it from me. If you were in the forefront of this, you're yeah. telling me you just walk into someone's farm. Maybe I was a commander. I don't know what was happening. Ah, okay. So I can mark now, Daro. Then you're now shifting the blame. Yeah, I don't know. Your instruction. No, my your instruction. Your instruction. When you yeah, went to the Ah, we was... don't have even any apology on that one. Honorable Chinotim, I'm so concerned about ah, this yeah. issue. Yeah, ah, Murkuti, ah, Mimi, maybe you're a commander. Ah, so serious. maybe you don't know what happened. Murkundu, Zami, Murkuti, I'm now with Rama Ziva. Barukutori, Waminda. Bariku Kwanwa, Bariku Rowa. Dai paka kanga paka roha. Manu waka sumba, nuhuli mapukisa isunga. Kamno tarisa nika yedu. What do you think is the major problem? Sanctions or corruption? Yes, yes, yes. Sanctions and corruption, that is it.
Sanction and corruption. Is it, yeah, the sanctions are the same, a result they are the of same the because it's you know, Uraya. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And Saga. the sanctions in a lot of ways are a result yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in Nibana, maybe you are going to have American people. But in the law, Madame Boyette. Ah, the Gamboyette of Madame. I see as soon as the Pana Trump in the good in the Gam Company. Maga Company, that's Trump. Chiruzi. Ah, the Gam Company, so we look up with a studio seven or six years. And I was doing good tea. I'm going. Why were you campaigning for Trump? Yeah, we in the Trump 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 I also am curious to know about your education. Yeah. Um, where and did you... I did not go to school. I Thank you so much to all the companies that made. Mm? Okay, that's all of it there. Okay. Thank you so much to the companies and individuals that made this season possible. We are not a big team and we're starting up. So to Envision Studios, thank you for getting us started. To Dirk and your team, Jason, Dunstan, Glelani, and of course to my team, Tafadzwa, Jeff, Last, Charmaine, Paida, Sasha, and Ron, you have been phenomenal for taking this journey with me against all the odds. To our partners who have made this season possible, Davies Events, Tangerine, Rooney's, Set and Solutions, Sonia's Events, Tell One, Brands for Less, Wisteria Lane, Kuyana Events, Zimbo Live, and of course, Makeup by Gamu. Lastly, you for watching and supporting this new initiative. I can't wait for season two. And to God, the real MVP. That end.